Hey guys, it's Jamie Slays. So a while ago, the guys at Neural DSP put out the plugin Omega Granifier, and in that plugin was a pedal called the Plumes. I've never heard of the Plumes before. It's one of these if you haven't heard of one either. So then I was on a mission to get my hands on a Plumes because when I was playing with it in the plugin, I was like, uh, this is amazing. Then I watched the Mick Thompson, I think it was Anderton's rig rundown or Tommen or both, and he had one in his rig as well. Then I find out that Mike Smith, the part owner of uh, Omega Grandifier, is his guitar tech. And yeah, he highly recommends these. So put me in touch with the guys at Earthquaker Devices and they were like, Jamie, when we've got one available, we will send one to you. So that goes without saying pretty much, but I'm gonna say it anyway, this is a sponsored video. Sponsored in the sense that they're letting me keep the pedal in exchange for a review. But what I say in the video is not scripted or they haven't said what I need to say, what points I need to make and all that kind of jazz. It's all my own opinion and I'm just gonna plug it into my computer through the quad cortex and I'm gonna play it and show you how it sounds. So when you see on here, it may look fairly familiar to that of a kind of traditional boost pedal, tube screamer, that kind of thing. It's got the gain level and tone and it's got a mode switch. There's three modes here, if you can see, which I will go through in a sec. I'll keep them on the same uh, dial positions and just change the mode when I'm plugged into the computer. It is a lovely little pedal. Uh, it is about the same size as a Tube Screamer. If you had any idea, it's, yeah, it's pretty much exactly the same. Main difference being that the Tube Screamer has a battery pack and the uh, Plumes does not. And again, the Plumes has a three mode switch and the Tube Screamer doesn't. The Tube Screamer has been my go-to for about 15 years. And then ever since it's got the Quad Cortex, I've been playing around with all the different ones like the TS-808 and the Maxon Aid, OD-808 and all that kind of stuff. I recently had an Architects, Matthews Architects pedal, which is essentially the same kind of thing. Everyone is kind of making their own boost pedals and this one, it's pretty cool. I've played with it already. I've captured it in the Quad Cortex and I really like it. So I'm just gonna go straight in now, plugged into Logic, press and record, and then I'm just gonna play around with the modes and all that kind of stuff so you get an idea of how it sounds. So I'm plugged into the Quad Cortex with like an EVH5153 preset. Um, there's no boost on it, so I'm using the plumes which is on the floor and it's in mode one. I've got it set similarly to how I would have a Tube Screamer um, and I'll put an overlay here as well so you can see. And then I'll also play around with that as well whilst I'm making this video. So let's hear how it sounds. So first I'm gonna play the preset without the pedal engaged at all. Now the pedal is in mode two, but we'll hear it again without the pedal at all. And now we're in mode three, and again, we'll play it first without the pedal engaged. Again, with the Tube Screamer, you only had one option, it was just on. And everyone pretty much has the same preset, which is gain all the way off, level all the way up, tone all the way up, and then on and off, and that's pretty much it. Um, when I had a Tube Screamer in my rig, when I was in a band back in the day, it just stayed on. I never used it as a boost or anything, it was just fully on the whole time, um, which kind of cut the mids of the 5150 that I was using. Whereas with this, I would definitely, in a live rig, switch the modes depending on what kind of sound I wanted. Because um, again, if you were using it as a clean boost, which we can try as well, it would sound completely different. So let's try that. We'll try it with a clean boost as well. Put it through a clean channel. We've got the Roland Jazz Chorus. So we're on mode three, because that was the last one we were on. So let's just see the difference. So we're playing clean.
it pretty much into a, a crunch channel. Let's hear the second mode, which I think is on the slightly high, higher bite. So I've just been playing around with the dials as I was playing. I've now got the gain on full, the tone on full, and the level just under halfway. And you can see how different it is compared to the clean channel. So that's mode one. This is mode two. Three. With mode 3 I think the level needs to be turned up slightly because it's a bit quieter. So hopefully that illustrates the point that you essentially could also use it as a clean boost as well. But I would mainly use it in front of the distorted amp. So let's try those new presets now. Oh wow, when you turn the gain fully up, it's like a HM2. Yeah, I wouldn't do that because that's insane. Right, level all the way up, gain all the way off. Let's try the kind of traditional tube schemer. Level all the way up, gain all the way off, tone all the way up. Let's try mode two, because that's mode one. Mode two kind of sounds like a bit like a split coil, single coil sound. Um, I'll put the tone to midday because sometimes the tone can make that happen. And then mode three to end the video. Gain on zero, level on full, tone on mid midday. So I'm just trying another thing, which is having a boost pedal in the preset now. Which is just how you would normally have your uh, preset. But then putting the plumes on level full, tone full, gain off on mode two as like a lead boost. So let's hear how that sounds. So 
So minimal feedback on that. Let's just hear it without it. So the, the lead on a neck pickup. So you can hear that it's slightly boosted, but because I've got the uh, overdrive on the preset all the way off, it's still quite dry. So we're on mode two, gain halfway, tone halfway, level full. There you go, there's a boost. That's quite a fun experiment. You can put it in front of an amp, you can put it in front of a quad cortex, you can put it in an effects loop, you can put it pretty much wherever you want. Straight into an interface and just use a plugin. Um, as you saw in the video, we used it at the front of a preset, we used it on top of another boost as like a gain boost, we used it as a clean boost. It's pretty good. The fact that there's three modes, you can switch them for preference. Again, one mode could be clean, one mode could be riffs, and one mode could be lead. I found there that the mode two was quite good for, uh, two and one were quite good for lead. Um, because they boost it quite a lot and then mode 3 was quite good for crunchy channel uh, because it just gives a little bit more bite to it. If you like what you saw leave it a like and then let me know in the comment section below what you thought. Have you got a plumes? Would you try one? Would you get one? Would you throw your TS9 in the bin now and get a plumes instead or would you just have both as you saw then? I used both and used the plumes as a lead boost as well. If you're new to the channel and you just found this video by coincidence or you're actually looking at a plumes pedal don't forget to subscribe so we've got more videos like this coming out all the time. I've put out loads recently, riff reviews, my own music, merch that I've made, Jamie Slade's metal riffs, down tuned, all that kind of stuff. Subscribe because I'm doing new videos every Sunday. There's a new one coming up this Sunday. I've got some coming up next week. I've got a review of a guitar coming out. I've got more pedals that I've got a review from MLC. So yeah, leave a comment in the section below. Tell me what you thought. Like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. And I'll see you guys next week for some more videos.